My name's Scott Rowan, uh, my friends call me Scooter. Uh, I'm a skydiver, skydiving coach, and a uh, wingsuit pilot, and uh, yeah, I love this stuff. I did a tandem when I was 19 in Rhode Island, and I really liked it. And then I transferred colleges to UConn, and they had a skydiving team. So I was like, well, I have to do this. I can't not like be on this awesome, crazy team. And that was a really awesome experience, and they have like a bunch of gear and we get some like indoor skydiving wind tunnel time provided and stuff so it was like a really big head start to skydiving career it was pretty cool. I had like 460 or something ish which kind of sounds like a lot to some people it's really not a lot at all like plenty of people around here have 3 4,000 jumps. Uh, I've never necessarily been afraid I've seen like a moderately crazy shit happen but like nothing that really freaked me out. Um, get like I'm never like afraid of like jumping. I get like a little like performance anxiety sometimes maybe where I'm like fuck I want to like impress my friends or like fly tight with this formation or like I don't want to mess this up I want to like do really well on this jump, but that's not like being afraid of surviving. That's just like, wanting to be good First of all, the biggest misconception, this is like, even you guys ask this question, does everybody ask, hey, do you need a parachute for a wingsuit? And the answer is yes. <laughs> There's only one exception ever, and one guy made like a giant runway of cardboard boxes and crashed into that with a big wingsuit, and he was like, okay, but yeah, that's the biggest misconception I can name. Uh, how would I convince someone to skydive? Um, I mean, it's definitely not for everybody, but it's just fucking awesome, and um, if you don't agree, then you suck. <laughs> More misconceptions about skydiving, um, that it's really dangerous, because um, it's kind of not. Um, riding a motorcycle is more than a thousand times more dangerous than doing a skydive. So yeah, it's relatively safe. Tandems are very safe, and like very experienced jumpers are on average like pretty damn safe if they're not swooping. But it's like learning is kind of dangerous, you gotta like get the skill. You got like a little bag of luck, you got to trade for a little bag of skill, sort of whatever. You got to like learn the decision making, learn the maneuvering as quickly as you can. So that's important, but I don't consider it to be like especially dangerous at all. I'm a pilot, I like flying. I feel like learning to land. Planes like kind of has helped my like canopy skills a little bit, like learning the way that my parachute flares a little bit more, like perceiving the flare of it. I'm a coach, so I do a lot of safety stuff, like gear checking rigs and like safety briefing students and stuff. So I guess from the perspective of like an experienced jumper, you just want to gear check your rig before you use it every time. You want to have your gear maintained well, and then you want to pack your parachute well. Once you're in the air, you want to set things up in the door properly. You want to like exit the plane safely, especially the wingsuit. Not as critical with a big otter like this, but with some smaller planes, like you wanna keep your wings collapsed um, until you clear the tail, because you, if you pop out and cup your wings, you can hit the tail of the plane. So that would be like a major safety problem. Once you're flying in the air, you don't wanna have like super high relative speed near people, unless like you plan to do that and you're like really experienced. Wingsuits can get going really fast. You don't want to be playing chicken with wingsuits because that's like, you know, playing chicken with motorcycles basically. Like, so yeah, you want to maneuver safely in the air, fly safely, like fly your slot of the formation safely and not be aggressive like spiraling near other people or not cutting people off in the air. And then you want to open your parachute safely. So you want like good body positioning when you open your parachute. You want to be landing where you want to be. Uh, landing into the wind is always better. Um, and then like full flaring your canopy safe touchdown. So. Yeah, I mean, it's just stuff that you like learn as you go and just get better and better as you go. At the TSK bogey this year here, we had uh, 18 wingsuiters and the entire one of these otters to ourselves. And we did a cross country wingsuit flight, so we opened or we exited like four miles south of here, flew all the way back, like didn't do any turns. And then we have like a bunch of back flyers, a bunch of belly flyers, everyone lined up like tight in the formation and orbiters, like wingsuiters just carving around the whole formation. It was pretty crazy. I don't see myself stopping ever. Um, no. I know people who are like in their 80s and skydives though. Like, 
yeah, I'm not stopping. <laughs> It's very thrilling when you start and it's like kind of sensory overwhelming, but then once you get good, it's less like, oh, this is insane, like adrenaline rush. Like, it's more like the satisfaction of flying well and the progression of the sport and like you building the skill and the satisfaction of you improving your skills. Uh, just like with anything that you do, like just getting better is satisfying. And that's really what it, more of it's about than like having some crazy like sensory overload experience. It's more about like having fun, flying well, being with your friends, like, it's just, it's so much better with a group of your friends than, like, a group of random people. Like, it's just, like, having a blast with your friends, like. What's almost better than the fun of the jumping itself is the whole community. Like, you can just show up at a drop zone, be like, hey, what's up? And, like, not know anyone. Go, like, skydiving with people, then, like, land, have a beer, and then your friends. Like, it's so easy to make friends. Skydiving is awesome. It's really awesome to learn and become a skydiver. It's really satisfying to just gets more fun every time you do it. Like a tandem's really fun, but you're just a passenger. And once you learn to fly your own body and free fall, and maneuver and fly your parachute, and like, it's so satisfying to like learn that ability and then progress on it. Just in general, like if you want to try skydiving, like it's just an awesome experience. Kind of gives you a new perspective on life. You're like, oh well, you know, I've got this like bag of nylon. That's the difference between me being alive and not. And like as crazy as that sounds, like it's pretty damn reliable. Like so, it's. Uh, yeah, it's awesome.